The city of Knoxville was a majorly contested area during the Civil War, and now the battlegrounds are being lost at an alarming rate. Dr. Earl Hess from Lincoln Memorial University gave a lecture in the McClung Museum on the Knoxville campaign and how we are rapidly losing the lands in which this battle took place. I tell you what, for decades and decades and decades, nothing happened. Destruction was the key for decades to come after 1865. According to Dr. Hess, however, this is not preventing us from still looking at the battlefield that is now covered in buildings and cement and seeing what it looked like in 1865. He shared with us some of the ways in which he can look at the modern landscape and suburbanization, as he calls it, and see what the area looked like before. You really start with historic maps, and in the case of Knoxville, a uh, Union engineer officer Orlando Poe did a magnificent map. Uh, so, you know, in addition to these historic sources, you go out and you look at whatever is there, and you look at it with the eye of a military person. Dr. Hess is, however, not the only one noticing the destruction of these historic sites. Barbara Chapin, a citizen of Knoxville, has also noticed the loss of these historic lands. And, uh, I just find it fascinating that so much of the Civil War happened here and a lot of it's destroyed. So you... Chapin, living in West Knoxville, specifically near the Campbell Station battle site, has noticed much of the battlefield being bought up and developed in the recent development boom near Turkey Creek. We live fairly close to uh, the Campbell Station battlefield site, and in the 20 years we've been here, that area out west near Farragut um, has grown so much, and we've seen pieces of it get snapped up by developments. According to Dr. Hess, however, destruction is now not the only option. Knoxville, like many other cities, is investing greatly into the idea of a greenway connecting the park systems that have already been established. And because of the areas that they go through are often areas with the best views, they oftentimes coincide with areas which are forts or battlefields in the Knoxville area. The nice thing is that south of the river, doing a greenway means that you hit historic sites and you preserve them. If you can have a union between recreation and historic preservation, go for it. It's spelled success for Knoxville. This is Jake Rainey for Dr. Cottle's JEM 230 class.